Vulawaya is not for weak men. Vulawaya is not for weak men. And why? Because it's the city of kings and queens. Emphasis on queens. So I have a theory. I have a theory. And this is why. Because you got these pretty mummies with the booty. And so I feel Chinotimba wanted to say Butuweyo. But because of the accent. You know the Shona accent? He had to say Butuweyo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pull up with a squad with the heavyweights. No diplomatic entries on me. We no delegates. Nobody helped us with DIY. We don't delegate. And when we play the big leagues, never relegate. It feels good to be back with these Tuesday episodes, man. You're gonna be with me for a while during this quarantine period. Ba -ba Boom! If I walked around the city, bro, on a Friday or Saturday, I know right now it's quarantine and people can't really walk, but if I walked around the city on a Friday or Saturday, like, bro, your neck is gonna be hurting from all the turning, like, woo! So I was just thinking about it, bro. If you know you got insecurity issues, if you know you got commitment issues, as a man, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be making on chicks from this city because pff, they pretty, bro. They, mm, damn. God was flexing when he made Vlaoya women. Uh, contentment. King Solomon said, as death and destruction are, are not satisfied, so are the desires of the human heart. You know, like, because death all is once more. The desires of human heart are infinite. We know that if you did economics, the first, the basic economic principle is infinite wants and finite resources you know so and that's the human heart that's how it's set up we always want more bill gets still want more money if you get a hundred dollars you still want more tomorrow so we are never satisfied so in the context of Bulawaya and Bulawaya women if as a man you're not content with what you have you're always gonna want more I told you your neck is gonna be hurting from all the turning bro so Solomon also said something he said um, a man without self-control or self-discipline is like a city with broken down walls. Now, I don't know if you know your biblical history, but back in the day, a city was considered strong enough depending on its walls, like the, the walls of Jericho. You know, Israel had an almost impossible task until the walls of Jericho fell down. You know, Nehemiah was rebuilding the city, the, the walls of the city of God. So walls uh, were a symbol of defense, I don't know. So in the same way, you have to look at yourself and say, am I like a city with broken down walls? Do I like self-control? Do I like self-discipline? You know, am I discontent? I'm going to tell you straight. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. If you walk around and if you do not know what you want and what you have and you have commitment issues and security issues, you're going to be tossed to and fro by your desires and not be able to be self-control. And don't forget to check out my new single, Sky City Energy. The link is in the description below and go to my website www.meetluminous.com and hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. Get it! Well, uh.